What's good YouTube? It's your boy Dolo here and I'm back with another video. Now today, I don't have any shoes, new shoes to show you, uh, but I'm going to show you some stuff that I picked up this year. Uh, this right here is going to be my top five pickups for 2018. Now I know a lot of people on YouTube are doing top tens, uh, best shoes of 2018, worst shoes of 2018, but I'm here to show you five shoes that I have in hand that I got this year and with some of my favorite pickups for the year. So I just want to show that to you guys so we're going to jump right into it. I do got a couple honorable mentions I'll show you first, but let's see what my list is and you know, just tell me what you think about it later, so let's do it. Now 2018 was a year where we got a lot of shoe releases. We got Jordan releases almost every week. We got a lot of new stuff from Puma. We got Reebok coming back with some old classic and some new stuff. You got Adidas redoing Ultra Boost. Plenty of Yeezys dropped this year. Uh, just a lot of shoes this year in general. A lot of stuff to cop. So I'm sure everybody found some stuff that were their favorites for the year. Um, really big year for sneakers, man. We had a lot of collabs also, but this right here, pretty much my top five. And we're going to look at my honorable mention. So my first honorable mention, uh, I did a review on this shoe. This is the Air Force One Coca Snake. Uh, picked this up at Complex Con this year. You probably seen it in my first video, but this is my first honorable mention. Like I said in that video, this great material all around. Classic shoes, some stuff we haven't seen since the early 2000s. Uh, really dope shoe, but wasn't really good enough to make my top five list. Uh, I haven't worn it yet, but this shoe is definitely uh, worth mentioning on this list because I feel like it was one of the best shoes I picked up this year. Uh, one of my favorite shoes this year. So yeah, for my first honorable mention, we got the Coca Snake. And I put that right there. And for my second one, we got the Travis Scott Air Force One. Um, I had the original, the one they dropped last year at Complex Con. Um, it was a dope shoe, all white. It was pretty much, you just, you couldn't wear that shoe though, I'm sorry, without just thrashing it because it'll just pick up dirt like crazy. But when they announced the cell colorway, I had to get the cell colorway because it's not, it's not a complete white shoe. It, uh, it's like a almost off-white type shoe. You get the off-white sole and everything with the gum bottom. Um, grill on the front, got these little tags on both of the shoes. Um, that you could pull off, take them off, just customize different swooshes. It was just a really dope shoe. Uh, I had to get this one because I wanted to wear the shoe so bad. Um, but like I said, great shoe. I just don't think it was worth my top five list, but it's worth mentioning because, like I said, Travis got killed. He's been killing it all year when it comes to sneakers and looks like he's going to kill it again next year. So, Travis Scott Air Force One, this is my second honorable mention. Um, and with that, we're going to jump right into my list of my top five favorite shoes of the year. Um, hope you guys like it, but let's check out what my real top five are. Now, starting off my top five with my number five shoe. Shoe I did a release uh, a review on recently. you probably seen it on my channel if you follow. But, ain't going to waste too much time. We're just going to jump right into it. The number five shoe on my list. Air Jordan 1 Union collab. This is the black toe colorway, as you've seen from my review. Really dope sneaker. Collab between Union LA and Air Jordan. Um, really dope shoe. Like I said from my review earlier on this month, um, you just pretty much you get good material all around this shoe. Great collab. I call it the Frankenstein Jordan 1 because, like I said, you just get this whole little stitching right here. Two shoes put together. Uh, really worthy of a top five shoe of the year. A lot of people on YouTube I see put this as like one or two on their list, but for me, this shoe right here, uh, great shoe. I haven't worn it yet. Uh, probably would probably be higher on my list if I worn it, got some outfits off with it. But for right now, it's my number five. Great shoe though, but it's my number five. Now for the number four shoe on my list. The fourth shoe, some people probably did see this one coming, but one of my favorite shoes to release this year. The Air Force One uh, Supreme Como de Garçon collab. 
the shoe dropped uh, a couple months ago, or maybe last month, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, dropped on Supreme's website. I didn't really hit on this shoe. A friend of mine, uh, he hit, but he hit for my size, and he ended up just giving it to me for retail. Uh, but really dope shoe. You got tumble leather up top. It's a black Air Force One. You can pretty much wear it with anything, but on the back you got those little hits of logos right there, which is Supreme, Cohen Dagger song. You got the broken Nike swoosh it's offset right here, like they did with the uh, box logo hoodies. They offset the box logo. Just really, really dope shoe. Overall, um, I've been wearing it a lot since I got it. And it's worthy of my top five because I love Air Force Ones. Um, just classic silhouette. You can pretty much pull it off with anything. It's a color Air Force One for anything you want to put on. Great shoe, worthy of my top five though because I wear this shoe a lot and I like it. And it's tumble leather. At least it looks good when you put it on your feet. Uh, People, it turns heads because people are like, oh, that's an Air Force One. What kind is that? Oh, the swoosh is messed up. No, it's, it's broken. But it's a dope shoe. I like it. Um, it's a quality shoe overall. So that's my number four shoe. And we're going to keep this list going. Now, coming in at number three on my list, we got an Air Max. Um, funny story. Um, I got, they announced this shoe really early this year. Uh, I saw pictures of it. I thought the pictures were dope. Uh, it was another colorway, it was a tour yellow colorway. Uh, I got that one also, but both of them were, looked really dope. I didn't really expect to get this one because I had to try to get it on sneakers out. We didn't get these shoes locally, but I ended up hitting this on sneakers out while I was on my way to the mall to cop the bread toes, uh, which I ended up getting both pairs that weekend. But when I got this shoe, did not like this shoe. I didn't think it looked that great until I actually started wearing it and putting outfits together with it. But let me show you which one it is. It is the Air Max 98 Gundam. Um, super dope shoe. Like I said, the pictures are what got me with this shoe. That blue on the shoe just pops a lot. Um, I wore this shoe probably the most out of all the shoes I copped this year. And you can probably see on here, this pair is one. I wish I would have doubled up on this shoe. Uh, like I said, when I first got it in hand, I was like, uh, didn't really like it too much until I started wearing it. Then I realized I was wearing this shoe a lot more than I probably should have been wearing it. But um, I, I'm gonna have to get another pair of these pretty soon. But this shoe comes in at number three on my list. It's simply off the fact that it's a dope shoe and I probably wore it the most this year. You may not think it's better than the Union Ones, but to me, I wore this the most this year. Comes in at number three on my list. So, really dope shoe. Air Max 98 Gundam. Number three on my list. Now, gonna move on to number two. Coming in at number two on my list. Number dose. Uh, didn't expect to get this shoe. I signed up, got the J23 app. Uh, hit me up whenever shoes release. But I was at work. I never forget it, I was at work. And yeah, my boy Justin comes to my desk. He's like, hey man, they just dropped the off whites on sneakers app. Go on there and try to get them. So I went on there and like at work at my desk, I rushed to sneakers app, put my information in, entered for the shoe. Man, it got through. I got hype. <laughs> I was so hyped about getting this shoe because I didn't expect I never expected to get this shoe ever in my life. <laughs> but number two on my list. And I wore this a few times. Um, the Air Jordan 1 UNC Off-White collab. Don't really have to go into much detail about this shoe. Everybody knows about the Off-White collab. Virgil kills it with every, every shoe he drops. Um, the UNC, not my favorite one of the 10 or out of the Air Jordan 1s, but Really dope shoe, especially if you don't have the other two. Um, this one is the second best in my opinion. I like Chicago a little bit better, but this hits number two on my list simply off the fact that I didn't expect to get these. None of my homies expected to get these. Uh, the fact that I hopped in so late and was still able to get my size, uh, that that puts this shoe above a lot of shoes on in my collection just simply because I didn't expect to get this. I don't wear it too much, but I do wear it some. 
you can actually you can you can tell. But uh, really great shoe. Just anything you can do with it. I got about three, four of the off whites in my collection, but this is one of my faves, and really glad I got the cop it this year. So coming in at number two on my list, we got the Air Jordan One UNC off white. Now time for the finale. Coming in at number one on my list of best shoes I copped in 2018. Uh, if you know me, you know how dope I thought this shoe was when I saw this shoe year, a uh, year, almost two years ago. Uh, voted for this shoe, voted for the guy. 100% uh, support what he does with the store round two. Uh, really dope shoe. I got to meet the guy last year at Complex Con, got to chop it up with and tell him how much I like the shoe. Um, I did vote for it, but on release day, did not get through on this shoe. I paid resale for the shoe, so I got mine early. I was able to wear it on, on Air Max Day, but um, did not hit on, on release. Now, being that I did vote for the shoe, I was able to get my pair later because Nike pretty much handed it to us on the silver platter if you voted for the shoe. Um, and a lot of people didn't vote and were real salty about it because they didn't get that access like a lot of us. Um, but I was one of the people who did vote because I support the cause. <laughs> resale, it's resale. But the Sean Weatherspoon Air Max. A uh, really, really, really dope shoe. I've only worn this shoe about three, maybe four times, but this is a dope shoe. I ended up with two pair because I ended up getting a pair for retail after the fact, but I ended up just selling the other pair. You know, make my money back for what I paid resale on the first pair. Um, so I pretty much broke even, but I wish I would've just kept that second pair because I want to wear this shoe so much but I can't because, you know, it's kind of expensive. I don't want to mess it up too much, so I I wear it sparingly. But this shoe easily is number one on my list because it's a shoe I look forward most to getting um, this year on release day. Uh, I saw it last year. A lot of people want to argue that the shoe came out last year. It did for certain people. They, they, they had a one release. Their release got shut down. I don't know what they ended up doing with those shoes, but the official release for this shoe was this year. So this shoe is easily number one on my list. Probably should be number one on a lot of used lists if I'm being honest. But the Sean Weatherspoon Air Max One, super dope shoe. The full corduroy upper, putting two Air Max together. Some stuff that like, I didn't really fuck with at first just because like when Jordan used to do it with the Air Max, like with the Air Force Ones, I thought that was tacky. Put two shoes together, but this time around, Nike let somebody do it and they did it right, him and his team. Um, group of people came together and got this shoe, made it into this masterpiece. It's probably one of the best shoes I ever owned in my collection. And I plan on getting a second pair pretty soon, but as for this year, this is my number one pickup for the year. So this is my list. My top five shoes for 2018. I got the Union Ones, I got the Supreme Air Force Ones. I got the Gundam 98, UNC Off-White, and Sean Weatherspoon. I picked up so many shoes in 2018, it's easy to leave some of them off of the list. I could have made a top 10, but I just feel like dropping it down to five just makes it a little bit harder for me to choose. And I liked it, I liked the challenge. But um, 2018 was a great year. 2019 is looking like this is gonna also be a great year. Especially with what Jordan is doing with the Air Jordan 4s. Probably gonna see a lot of those um, next year. But 2018, in my opinion, from my pickups, it was a success and, you know, I enjoyed it. But if you like what you saw here today, always remember to leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your top five are. Let me know what your top 10 are. Let me know what shoes you hated this year. So, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.